critic, food columnist before that, cooking. So writing about food is what you do, like, for your job? If people may pay me money for it, yeah. I do not write about food trends. No? No. Chicken. Ooh, chicken. Right, well, chicken never left. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no way you can, you can convince me that chicken is the next big thing. Green pepper. I'm not particularly passionate about bell peppers. Uh, like most people, if I had to take one, it would be a red or a yellow or even a purple. Most people don't like the green because they're kind of watery and flavorless. Uh, it seems kind of preposterous to conceive that green bell pepper could be popular. It is very popular, though. Like well, it's everywhere because it's cheap. Uh, bacon, I'm guessing is that bacon, but hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Bacon. Bacon is ubiquitous. It is the trend that um, uh, has always been around. Bacon was an exile for like a decade. The war on fat, bacon was like, like it was déclassé blue collar food. It, bacon made a huge resurgence, didn't it? Well, I grew up not eating bacon. Semi-kosher in the house, and then they go Wait, out and eat Jewish? Chinese food. Come again? Yeah, I'm Jewish, and we had uh, turkey bacon uh, and matzo fry, mm -hmm. which were delicious things. But I mean, I, I, I legitimately was enthusiastic when I tasted bacon for the first time in a in a microwave. So I was, I got excited. I mean, I felt that passion of, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. I want to eat it all the time. Now it's bacon candy, uh, bacon bourbon, bacon and desserts. Uh, toxic bacon jam served on a cronut. <laughs> someone gave me a gift of bacon floss one time. Um, someone thought it up, someone sold it, someone bought it, someone gave it to me. It was repulsive, I threw it in the garbage. Is bacon over? No, no, bacon will never be over. Brussels sprouts. Uh, Brussels sprouts are a legitimate trend. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's already, it's waning, but there was a legitimate thing that was hated and vilified. People over 50 will say, oh, I won't eat Brussels sprouts, or my husband won't eat Brussels sprouts. Uh, and I think about five years ago, chefs started experimenting with them. I remember seeing them on an early menu at Momofuku in New York, and it was Brussels sprouts with kimchi and bacon. And uh, I remember tasting that and going, oh, wow, you can do great things with Brussels sprouts. And now they're ubiquitous. And I think they were probably usurped by kale. Kale became the hot thing. Boom, kale. <laughs> I don't think I even ate kale till about five years ago. And then it became everywhere. Bananas. I mean, I prefer not to comment on bananas. I don't like udon noodles because they flap against you. It's too fat a noodle. It's too much for me. Oh, it's a cupcake. I thought there was salmon roe on top. Do you want there to be salmon roll on top? I kind of do. I, you know, that's one thing to shake it up. The cake pop. The cake pop? When I've never seen this thing. It looks horrible. Little hamburgers. If I like hamburgers, why do I want a smaller hamburger? Why don't I want a regular sized hamburger? Is, that, <laughs> is this a slider slider? Is it an even smaller hamburger? That's an even smaller slider. <laughs> I have even less use for this. Please don't invite me to a bar mitzvah or a wedding where these are served. Oh, it's foam. I thought it was some kind of splooge. Uh, you can edit that out in post. You know, I was working in restaurants when the foam craze was in its ascendancy, and I remember seeing it for the first time. It was a, a lobster spuma, a canister with the, 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 the gas in it and sprayed, and this foam of lobster came into it, and I thought it was the craziest thing possible. And then I tasted it, and I was like, oh, it tastes like lobster, but it's light and fluffy. That's great. But I was just ignorant of this having come from uh, Ferran Adria in Spain, and that this would soon be a thing where now you go to your, you well, know, you were young. taco. You, yes. didn't, you didn't know better. I was young. I was barely 30. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> yeah, I, it, it became uh, such a terrible cliche, and it's a shame because every once in a while, uh, it's great. It's great to have a thing on a dish that is a flavor that you wanted to include, but you wanted a little bit of lightness, but it was, there was definitely one that just people applied with a heavy hand. It's hard not to think of poo. I remember the stack plating from when I was in school. I remember them telling us, this is what's in, in style now. It's stupid. Putting things in a stack actually frustrates people trying to eat it because they're trying to go, oh, I want to 
taste a bite of the, the meat with the sauce and, and whatever, and actually making a Jenga of it completely frustrates people, and it's, uh, it's, I think it's insulting to everybody. What about this asshole? <laughs> I like that guy. He's having fun. So long as people don't use flashes and don't insist to the table mates, wait, wait, I have to photograph this? It's fine, take a photo, take a photo of your food, to use an Instagram filter on it. Uh, I think it's just people sharing what they like. Cloves. I am no fan of cloves. Um, this conversation I would describe as too clovey, but that's me. I'm, and I don't think they've ever been in fashion, nor will they ever be. When you consider this pursuit of foods being in fashion or out of fashion and food trends and mm. things as elemental as a leaf of kale being the new Brussels sprout, uh, this whole dialogue that you are engaged in as a food writer, does it ever occur to you that it's just totally ridiculous? Absolutely. Well, things have to, people need to name something something. Otherwise, top 10 lists are, are going to be empty. You know, would, other, otherwise the, the, the internet will kind of shut down, you know, or it's just the cats. You've got to rank things mm -hmm. or, or things have no value. Um, is writing about and engaging with food fads and food trends an appropriate job for a grown man? <laughs> Do you ever think of not being a piece of shit? <laughs> That's right.